Pastor Jerry. It's not my crowd. So there is something I, I want to actually address. No matter what God does in a season, there will always be some pharisaical and Sadducee kind of people, all right, with different demonic ideologies, mentalities, all right, that is said to discourage people and bring about a lot of um, uh, disunity in the body of Christ, okay? Now, um, I, 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 I don't do this, but then it's like a burden. Never be the kind of person, all right, who try to demean the impact of what anybody does that you are still trusting God to do. Are you listening to me now? I repeat again. Never, 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 never. We, we have seen over the week, all right, that God is doing something tremendous in our days. All right? Very tremendous in our days. The glory of the Lord is filling the place. Tremendous in our, in our days. In the space of one week, um, I have specifically seen something that God is doing in Africa that, I mean, it's, it's powerful, it's encouraging, it's, it's a proof that the purity of whatever the Lord is doing as connoting the revival is resting in Africa. A few days ago, we actually saw um, one of our mighty men, Pastor Jerry Eze, all right, <laughs> shut down an 82-seater stadium for God. All right? The mighty thing that is happening. And that same, was it that same day or? But that same week, a ministry in Uganda, I so much, all right, value the man of God, Apostle Grace Lubega. We saw our, our mighty man, Pastor Nathaniel Bassi, ministering in that place. They had their 10th year anniversary. And my God, like, there were so many that the crowd needed to still have an overflow. But guess what? There were people who came out and <laughs> hallelujah. There were people who came out and started shouting. Ah, it's not by crowd, oh, it's not by this one, oh, it's not by this, oh, it's not by that. Ah. I even saw one that said, Tell Apostle, uh, tell Pastor Jerry, it's not by crowd, it's not by this and all of that. My dear, uh, it's not by crowd, but it's not also by empty pews. Are you listening to me now? It's not by crowd, it's not by. My God, my God. Meanwhile, if your favorite artist shut down O2 Arena, we will say sold out. Mm. And a man of God is doing something. Do you know what it means to achieve such feats? Not in Nigeria. In UK. The same UK we are complaining that it is an atheist civilization now. That same UK. <sighs> that you don't like the Noah that God is using to build the ark does not mean he will stop using Noah. Are you listening to me now? And guess what? You are positioning yourself for the flood. Or more, you go swim tire. You will drown. You will drown. It's a demonic mindset. And meanwhile, those who are coming with theological debate, doctrinal differences. And guess what? The person I say is not by crowd. Since this year came, they have not gone for evangelism. Not even one. No soul winning. But because they have data to type. It's not by crowd though. It's not by this though. And then the rest. You don't say it's not by crowd when your football fans are everywhere in your own team. But you see a man doing such a feat and people are doing... Don't have this kind of mentality that when you see someone who is doing his or her best in an area, especially when you are trusting God for it. For example, do you know there are some ladies huh, that no guy has said hello to you before? And when they are seeing people's marriages, they are already castigating the wedding gown. This this as, as you be, this one as you be, as you Meanwhile, you are trusting when you are seeing couples are saying, God, when? God, when? God, am I a spoon? Yes, we are a spoon. In fact, you are a knife. You are demonic mentality. What is really bad to bless God for what God has done? I repeat, do you know? Do you, these are the kind of mentalities that people have and they even destroy themselves. The brothers of Joseph were fighting Joseph, not knowing that because of the. Because Joseph was preserved, they too were preserved. Judah was preserved because Joseph was the prime minister. I hope you know that Christ was supposed to come from the tribe of Judah. All right? And meanwhile, they never knew they were also stars. They were fighting. 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 So if you're a man of God here, when you see those kinds of stuff, celebrate and pass. Are you listening to me now? Are you listening to me now? Then I want to really ask. I want to really ask, please. I want to really ask. I see all of you as ministers. Home, so I want to really ask. How did we get to the point whereby, oh God, the African mentality, Jesus. Please, please. If this is what I'm doing for today, then we have said something much. How, do we, how did we get to the point whereby when, let's say, if somebody has a headache now, alright, and I pray for the person, and the person gets healed, 
we celebrate and say, oh, the power of God. But if, let's say, someone was amputated and I prayed for the person and hands grew, they now start checking which power is that? Which, how did we start connoting things that are normal to God and attributing things that are jaw-dropping to the devil? What mentality? What mentality? If somebody is just a normal civil servant in the family, they'll say, oh, I can't go with the race. But if God blesses somebody to be wealthy, before you know it, it's a blood ritual. You don't know what he's doing. You, don't. you better, you better, you better be careful. Whatever you don't celebrate, you will never attract. Are you listening to me now? Are you listening to me now? I'm using this as, all right? But then, it is relative to everything we are doing. Relative. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Most of us, we are praying for revival in our territory. Breakthrough in our family. Now, breakthrough has now come through your junior brother. But because it is not you. Attacks. Attacks. So we are praying, revival in Africa, revival in Africa. God is doing mighty things now. And now, the same ones. Never, never, never. Hallelujah. I just had to offload that burden in case you are here. And this is not just even about what is happening in the body of Christ. Even your normal lives too. Are you listening to me now? Your colleague is doing something. Celebrate. Celebrate. Your colleague has a car. You don't have a car. When they buy it, go and show. Be the one to give money for fuel. Are you listening to me now? Get all of those nonsense ideology that brings about competition, envy, bitterness. It's not the spirit of Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord bless us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.